last one here. Uh, the New South Wales government says that they've got uh, some moral problems with poker machines, particularly the poker machine industry, as they say, which doesn't do enough to help problem gamblers. What's interesting here is, of course, just like smoking taxes for federal governments, gambling taxes for state governments means because they become the biggest addict because there's lots of money to be made here. Um, I have never hidden the idea that I don't mind a slap. Big fan of pokey wins on Instagram, but never have I uh, got myself into trouble, but I know people do. Quickly, simply here. Holly, pro, anti-pokies. Uh, look, I support them in the fact that they're a legal uh, mechanism for gambling. There should be support for people that have a problem with that. Uh, I was in Tasmania when the Labor Party proposed it there at an election yeah. to ban pokies and they were relegated to the very, very back boondocks of the parliament. So it's not something that's even electorally popular because there are lots of people, and I was out door knocking in areas, where people like to go and put five, ten bucks in the pokies when they go down on a Friday night, they buy their meat raffle tickets or whatever it is, and they were telling me they take go down to the kids, um, put their five or ten bucks in, and that's sort of a bit of nothing a wrong with the Red Lobster that. every now and I then. I've got to tell you, my mum was a big fan. Her and her sister, <laughs> if we all ever went down to the sailing club, you could find mum and Auntie Jan over with their five bucks in the pokey. God love them. All right. Well, the reels have rolled their way.